In this video we will show you how to customize your own dashboard in version 9.4. Log into the Dynamic Workload console, with your username and password. After logging into the console, you can connect your engine, design and monitor your workload. Access the self-service UIs in the application lab. Create a new page by clicking the plus button on the top right hand corner. Provide the page name and page location. Select a page layout and click OK. Use the previous folder and next folder buttons to move the node between root folder. Use the up and down buttons to move the node within a root folder. And click OK. Select the widget type from the list, here we select the table option. You can drag and drop the widget to the required location. You can adjust the size of the widget and position it inside the dashboard. Now your widget is ready to be customized, select the little arrow in top right section of the drop down in the widget and then click edit. By clicking search, you will find all the available data set. Once you have selected a data set, the visualization settings page will be prompted. Set the engine parameters, from here you can choose to retrieve data from all the engines you have configured in the manage engines page. Customize the visualization options of the widgets and set the filters on the data that is going to be retrieved by that specific data set. The data visualized in your widget will change accordingly to the engine data set. In this example, we want to retrieve all messages containing the word alert. After clicking OK you will see the table you have created displaying all the operator messages. In this example you can see all messages containing the word alert have been retrieved. Here we are creating a bar chart widget. Drag and drop the widget inside the dashboard and resize it. Click search to select a dataset. Here we select the job status dataset to show number of jobs grouped by status of job. Fill out the Y and X axis fields. Select the engine connection. In this example no filters were defined. Give a title to the widget so it is easily identified when opening the dashboard. Define a sort by column, sort order etc. Select a color from the color palette to be used for the bar chart. Customize the optional dataset fields as required. Fill in the job name filter and click OK. Here you can see the bar chart widget that has been created. The bar chart with all the different status, results showing the number of jobs linked to the status that was defined earlier. By right clicking and selecting edit, you can change an existing widget. Here we are using the widget we defined previously and changing the color. Select the value status gauge widget and drag and drop it into the dashboard. As with previous widgets, you can adjust the size of the widget and position it inside the dashboard. Click edit to select a dataset. Click search to bring up the list of all the available dataset. Select job count dataset, where count of jobs are based on parameters. Configure the dataset parameters as we did for the previous two widgets. Select count in the value field, fill out the engine parameter. Give a title to the page and fill out the required settings by completing visualization options. Select the symbol you want displayed on your custom dataset. In this example we select the critical status and write zero, this will ensure that even if one job is in error state it will show up first under critical jobs. Define the job name and select error under the job status array filter to display only jobs ending in error. After clicking OK, you can see 7 critical jobs in error status. Make sure to save the page every time after you insert a new widget into the dashboard. Once you linked your widget to a dataset and saved, you can enable the drill down feature, click show wires. The summary of wires page is displayed. Select the source event for the new wire, in this example we select job by status and node clicked on option. Search for drill down and click go, select drill down, click OK. Click new wire and select the source event for new wire from the available source events drop down list. Click OK. Click save and exit to see the dashboard page you have created. Click the page icon, select edit page, now you can drill down to display more detailed information. Finally we add the refresh timer widget by clicking the plus button on the top right hand corner, fill out the required fields and click OK. 
Type refresh widget in the search box and click search. Drag and drop the refresh timer widget into the page. Give a title to the page. After editing the refresh timer, the widgets in your dashboard will be updated according to the frequency you set. Data can be seen in real time. Now you can share this dashboard to a different role under the page settings option. Click the role tab and select add. Under the role tab, you will find a list of all the available roles. Use this page to manage roles for users. Select by clicking in the box next to the role name. Click the role tab and select one or more role to give access to this page of the dashboard and click add. Save and exit the page. From the user icon, log out. After logging out, the new user you shared your dashboard with can log in. The new user selects IT operator messages from the drop-down list to access the shared dashboard. Now each widget can be seen in detail and the new user can drill down on any item in the list.